Happening along the River De Pere, teams of people are needed to help clean up the river and the creeks that feed into it. Right now joining me live is Andrew Club. He's the program director of Open Space. Good morning to you, Andy. Good morning. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So uh, first off, tell me a little bit about what you guys are looking for uh, for this project. You need volunteers, right? Exactly. We, we need volunteers for the River De Pere Trash Bash. Uh, it's a regional event where we pick up litter in our streams and waterways, our, our parks and open spaces. Okay, so you've brought some examples for us here of what maybe you guys have found uh, in the in that river, in, in those creeks. So tell me a little bit about what the biggest issues are. Oh, exactly, yeah. So I think we're all well aware of the, the plastic problem. Mm -hmm. And here we have a plastic water bottle. And this is stuff I found within probably about five minutes just walking around my own neighborhood. Okay. So you've got your to-go containers, your plastic lining, your everyday items often end up in our waterways. And you know, that plastic can Straws. really affect the habitat. Exactly. It affects our wildlife and the, the quality of habitat, uh, affects our, our water quality in general, which really affects all of our communities. Okay. So uh, litter cleanups like the River Pair Trash Bash are very important. So tell me how the trash bash goes. What can people expect if they haven't done it before and they say, hey, I want to get out and do something good for the community? Oh, that's a great question. Um, usually, so this year it's all self-guided. For the second year in a row due to COVID-19, we are doing self-guided cleanups. So uh, volunteers of all ages can go out with their household um, and, and clean up an open space, a, a park, uh, walk along the creek line, getting the trash before it enters the waterway, which is really important because uh, once it is in the waterway, it's a, it can be more difficult to remove. Gotcha, gotcha. So is there anything that people need to bring with them when they come out uh, to the trash bag? Oh, no, just, just their energy, um, some camaraderie maybe. Okay. Uh, in terms of trash bags, we, we will provide these. We have this red one here and a larger one as well. The red ones are good for kids. We have gloves, both small and large. And you also get a free T-shirt. Oh, yeah, we love a free T-shirt. Exactly, yeah, a free T-shirt for uh, volunteering as well. Okay. And uh, we're also looking for people to help with storm drain marking, which uh, you apply these to uh, different storm drains around the community, which uh, is just a friendly reminder that these storm drains end up in our creeks and, and waterways. Do people need to sign up or do they just show up to volunteer? Oh, thank you again. Yeah, so uh, go to openspacestl.org uh, and click on our programs tab and you'll see one for Trash Bash on there you can register for the event and we encourage everybody to pre-register so we can coordinate everything well beforehand gotcha thank you so much andy for joining us this morning if you guys would like to hear that website again so you can volunteer for this great cause just go to our website fox2now.com we'll be right back after the break